Hi guys, what we're going to be doing today is a video on the Flysky FS i6. So I ordered this uh, particular transmitter from Banggood and uh, it arrived, uh, not in the best condition but uh, anyhow, uh, on further inspection upon the contents, everything was uh, in order and uh, nothing was damaged. So I was quite happy with that. So let's get started and have a look at the contents. There she is, folks. Um, and I'm just going to run through some of the specs uh, whilst we have the transmitter out of the package. And I'll just bring her out so you can have a look. It's quite a nice transmitter. There you go. Um, so six channels, um, fixed wing glider heli, RF range 2.405 to 2.475 gigahertz, bandwidth 500 kilohertz, 142 band, RF power less than 20 dBm, 2.4G system, AFHDS 2A and AFHDS, code type GFSK, sensitivity 1024, low voltage warning less than 4.2V, DSC port, PS2 output, PPM, uh, charger port, no. Antenna length, 26mm times 2 dual antenna. Weight, 392G. Power, 6 volt, 1.5AA times 4. Display mode, transflective, STN positive type, 128 by 64 dot matrix, VA, 73 by 39mm, white backlight. Size, 174 by 89 by 190mm. Online update, yes, color black. And um, there you go. So, this is the, the transmitter, folks. And um, in addition to the transmitter, I ordered a FSIA6B with PPM, um, as opposed to the FSIA6A, which does not have the PPM. Um, let's put that there. In addition, it does come with the bind plug. Um, so having a look at the transmitter, uh, the gimbals are very nice, uh, very smooth. So we've got four switches on top. This is a two mode switch, another two mode switch. We've got three modes on there and another two modes here. Um, here we've got controls for potentially a gimbal. Uh, if you wish. I probably won't be using these myself. Um, then you've got your thrust here, your, you've got uh, pitch and roll, um, trim on all sides, and uh, on and off button, and uh, then your modes and uh, selectors there. Um, on the back, you can see it's quite a, quite a nice uh, profile on the transmitter, it's not too thick. Um, that's where uh, you can insert your batteries. So let's put them in now, have a look at the screen. See what it's all about, yeah. That's why we're here. Okay, there we go, nice and easy. All the switches in the up position, turning on the transmitter, and there we go. Um, so quite a nice screen, bright, easily red, LCD, and um, I haven't gone into this in much detail, but um, once it's connected to your receiver, you'll then be able to go into the modes and um, change your settings that way. So once again folks, just having a look at it from all angles. There's a trainer port at the back as well, which is quite handy. But lovely profile, not too heavy. Um, fairly easy to use 
Uh, I've already bound it with the trans with the um, the receiver. So um, looks like we're ready to go, guys. My next video will be the unboxing of the Eosheen Racer 250. So stay tuned. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and we'll have a look at the Eosheen uh, very shortly. See you guys. Catch you later.